When I was growing up here, we spent uh, our summers in, in and around the river. We'd uh, come down and uh, we used to bridge surf, actually, tie a rope to the to one of the bridges and uh, and a board to that, and then a, and then a rope off the board, and you know, surf Boise. You know, this is such a wonderful resource, a wonderful river that you want to uh, allow as many uses as you can. Uh, the river is really, I mean, it is quintessential Boise, and it's, it provides recreation. It provides this really amazing fishery for an urban river. I mean, I don't, I don't know that you're going to see an urban river like this in a big town like Boise. It's pretty special. You know, you want to make sure that the pursuit of happiness, however you define that, is still alive and well here, and that's part of what it is to grow up. Uh, in Boise. The river needs a bit of nutrient, but too much nutrient is a bad thing. It leads to algae growth, which can be toxic. So phosphorus, some of it occurs naturally, but a lot of it enters the river because it's applied as fertilizer. So as fertilizer is applied to lawns or to crops, and then those lawns or, or crops are watered, then eventually some of that water finds its way into the drain, and that's exactly what the Dixie drain is. The project really was trying to think of a different way to remove phosphorus. In our system, we have too much phosphorus and that can cause algae blooms, which causes oxygen levels in the water to go down, which is not good for fish. Um, and certain types of algae are not good for humans, so it really impacts our recreation op recreational opportunities. So instead of doing all the treatment at one point, we do a lot of treatment at one point, but there's this little bit that costs a lot of money that we decided, well, why don't we go somewhere else, take that money that, and invest it somewhere else where we know we'll get a better kind of bang for the buck. And so the, the whole idea of the Dixie drain is rather than spending a lot of money to get that additional phosphorus removed at the treatment plant, take that operation downstream a ways where you can save money and be more efficient and actually remove more phosphorus. And ultimately, we end up with a healthier river. You know, even if you don't get into the engineering piece of it, 140 pounds of phosphorus a day removed from the river, 25% uh, cleaner than it would have been and uh, cheaper in the long haul. The importance of this project is that it is setting a national precedent for a better way to do or to address water quality issues. That is something that's been kind of the holy grail that's been really hard to grasp nationally. And it took a, a partnership to get Dixie done. And so working with uh, EPA, working with the Idaho Department of Environmental Quality, the DEQ, uh, those three entities really worked the issue really hard. And then we had other stakeholders like the Idaho Conservation League that wanted to support the project because they saw the benefits. And so over a four or five year period, we worked with those entities. And what this could do is open up opportunities for other cities across the country to more quickly address water quality issues more effectively. And so Boise, Idaho is, is out in the forefront on that, which is pretty exciting.